Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. I'm back with a super clean and simple sympathy card that was inspired by a Pinterest image. First, let me tell you how much I love Pinterest. Sometimes I don't want to think about a design, but Pinterest helps me find something quick and I love it. I'll be casing that design almost to a T. Now second, let me apologize for my ugly hands. I've got bruises and cuts and scrapes all over them. Don't mind my veins, but just know that I have no clue how this is happening. <laughs> that bruise on my left hand, that I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's down by my thumb, happened three weeks ago. Trev and I moved some carpet and I accidentally smashed my hand in the doorway. Oi! Either way, the show must go on. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to case this design almost to a T, so I pulled out some of my um, stamp sets. And because I've hurt my right foot, you can see my boot up in the left-hand corner, I had to literally use what I had in my scrap pile. So I pulled out a craft card base, and I pulled out some pretty colors that I thought would look good with it. And I'm using, actually, the new foliage die, and I'm using a couple of others that I've had, such as Graceful Beauties, the Streamers die set, and Loopy Leaf. So I just went and die cut everything. It took me forever to walk over to my die cutting machine. <laughs> and then I stamped my sediment. Now I wasn't sure if I was going to make so many cards, but I wanted to make sure I had enough, um, just in case. And so I'm making my first card and I've decided to use this pretty aqua paper. I'm not even sure if it's aqua mint, whatever, but either way it's super pretty. And I thought it would look really nice in the center of my card, which you can't see because it's halfway off the screen. That's classic. Well, maybe I'll move it up soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm also using a clothespin, just like the Pinterest photo. And I, from previous trial and error, you have to use two sets of foam dots. So I cut off a couple of squares and I'm going to attach my clothespin to the top. And I think I am done. I'm going to attach it to the front of my card. But I think there's something missing. <laughs> and so because I want to mess with white thread and just constantly get it stuck to my finger because I didn't realize I had a small piece of glue still um, on my finger. I didn't clean off my finger very well. I literally spent probably a minute trying to get that thread to just lay on the card without stain on my fingers. So I finally got it down and I attach my banner with the sediment on it and there it is. That's the end of the card. Super easy, super simple. Thanks Pinterest! <laughs> now because I loved it so much I literally made another and each one got a little faster I still had, see, you can see I had problems with the thread. That was the hardest part every time I made them. But this is another. I did the design a little bit different with the pink loopy leaves, but um, all the other ones are, are very similar. So there's another card, and whipped this one up in less than a minute. By the sixth one, I literally had this down to a T. Okay, minus the thread and trying to get your banner straight. That was the only problem, but regardless, I made six total in less than 16 minutes. I think that is a record for me. <laughs> the only sad thing is I have to use three of these cards with this um, within this week to send out um, several family members and friends, fathers, and things have passed away, so um, I will have a couple in my stash, but hopefully I will not have to use them. I hope that you're inspired by this card design. Please leave a comment below with a link to one of your creations or link up to our Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. I'd love to check out your project. Thanks so much for watching.